Hello everyone, welcome to BeModeler.com. In this video tutorial, we will be discussing how to create a fire production use. By default, if you are taking the system default template, um, you won't be able to see the fire production system underneath. You will be able to see electrical, mechanical and plumbing groupings and you don't have a views for fire productions. So how to create them and create a few settings and visibility graphic settings, filter settings, we will be discussing about. For that, we need a view. So I'm going to duplicate this plumbing view so that the piping settings will be there by default. Duplicate, duplicate with detailing. So this is going to be our floor plan. So we have to rename this as one fire to match with the other view names. And this view must be under fire protection. So the settings are like this. We have to assign a discipline and a sub-discipline option. You have to select the view. You can see that view name in the property. I'm looking for the discipline. It should go under plumbing and open this option. You, you can see the other options are available. You, you won't be able to type any other discipline. Under the sub-discipline, you can type fire protection. Apply that, you'll be able to see that under plumbing, you will have sub-discipline as fire protection. We have a flow plan. We need a ceiling plan. You can go up, find any ceiling plan. Maybe one ceiling mesh and duplicate with detailing. And rename this as fire. Change this sub discipline to fire protection discipline as plumbing. Now, under the fire protection, we have to one floor plan, one ceiling plan. Double click on the fire protection floor plan, and you will be able to see the plumbing fixtures which we don't want to see it. So go to the visibility graphic settings or VG press shortcut. And we can turn off plumbing fixtures like this. Yes. You can turn on the sprinkler. Yes. And go to the filters. You see that by default, hydronic systems are turned off using the filter. If you want to turn off the plumbing systems, you can add another option for cold water, for hot water, for domestic, sanitary, vent, and turn off all the systems. Select OK. We'll be discussing about other settings like filter, visibility graphics, separate video. So stay tuned on this video. Go to the ceiling view, fire. We have to place the sprinkler. So go to this system. Under system, you will be able to see the sprinkler option. And you it is going to be a space based or any elements, vertical face. There are different types available in the sprinklers. So it is going to be a side wall or ceiling. Most of the time we'll be using the ceiling so sprinkler vent and type based on the face and we'll be able to place it any ceiling views but in this case i'm going to place four sprinkler on this room while placing this you will have a questions and it has been asked already how to place air terminals in how many air terminals need to be placed similarly if you have a question that how many sprinklers need to be placed in a room how many uh, how to place them these questions if you had so this is a very simple the designer will design the things and we have to as a modeler we have to place them that's the first answer second thing is that the designer will design it and based on the diameter which covers so there is a manufacturer specific thing you have to go to sprinkler manufacturer website and see how much 
diameter it covers. Based on that, we'll be able to place the designer will decide how many students needed in a room area. So in this case, I'm just for example purpose, I'm placing four sprinklers in this room and I'm going to go with the sprinklers. For example, let's go and take the pipe, take the system. And as we discussed in the earlier video, there are different types available, dry, wet, and free action, other things. Let me go ahead and choose this one, pipe protection and the wet system. Consider this, this is the main pipe which is running under diameter in the corridor like this. And let me change this as fine, running like this. And if you need a color for this system, you can go to the family and the pipe system. And we are taking the bed, you'll be able to apply a color which is red. And if you go ahead and create a section view along this. Open the section view by double clicking the head. Make sure it is fine. And you will be able to see that. Make sure the head is, is on the top, which is in 3 meters, say. From the head, the branches will be taken here and it will be connected here. As we placed it, the pendant sprinkler will be on the top side. We can use multiple ways and we can connect it. One thing like we will be able to draw a pipe like this. And go to the ceiling view. We will be able to see the pipes which are running. And you can select the other one and say connect into this pipe. And similar way, you will be able to say connect into this pipe. You can use the section and be able to connect it, otherwise, you can simply stop the pipe. Since it's the same pipe, so we can connect it in the same branch. Draw pipe like this. Delete this one. Use the trim and extend command, which is TR. Connect these two. As simple it is. So, based on your connection layout by given by the designer, you will be able to model pipe in the corners and you will be able to check them in 3D view. If you have any questions related to this, leave a comment. I will be uploading this file to the BIM Modeler website. And download it for you. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one.